Let's play.
terms of uh, helping me fall asleep at night and helping me deal with stress and anxiety. And so, uh, Nick and I actually have done a lot of videos for another channel that we have, which you may have heard us mention before, and that channel is called Co-op Critics. And we have been um, doing that for a couple of years now. I actually have had that channel and that website for quite some time, but we've really been uh, dedicated to it and being consistent about it for the past few years. And so we had talked about my desire to start an ASMR channel that was sort of a uh, sister channel to co-op critics. And so that's sort of where the genesis of Let's Play Quietly sort of came about. And it has been so much fun to start this channel and to put these videos out and to engage with the community. And especially for me to be able to uh, contribute to the community because the community has really been very helpful to me. I'm very grateful to the ASM artists that have been so helpful to me with the videos that they've made. And so I wanted to get back to that community. And so uh, Nick and I started putting videos together for this channel. And so most of what we do, as I mentioned, are Let's Play videos where we're providing commentary over a variety of different games. Um, Nick is very good at uh, shooters and plays a lot of shooters. I like to play a lot of role-playing games, although I have been very addicted to Overwatch, as actually both of us have, but I've done a lot of Overwatch videos for the channel up to this point, but I want to start mixing in a lot more role-playing games. Um, I may do some World of Warcraft, because believe it or not, I have not actually played World of Warcraft, although I am a huge RPG fan, and I grew up playing tabletop role-playing games like uh, D&D and uh, a lot of different settings in the third edition of the D&D the rules. And so, um, I'm a big fan of the Bethesda games, I'm a big fan of the Bioware games, and I'm going to start doing more role-playing games for the channel. There have been a few Mass Effect videos that have been put up but some of those got flagged, which is why we didn't do too many of them. But we are going to be doing more role-playing games moving forward. Uh, we've done some Stardew Valley, and we've done a lot of Overwatch, especially as of late. And so um, I would imagine that we will continue to do Overwatch videos, because we both spend a lot of time with that game. But we're also very open to hearing from people what they would like to see and hear on the channel. And I'm considering doing one of these ramble style videos uh, a week or every other week to mix in with the Let's Play videos. Um, these rambles will still be over gameplay, but I won't be directly commenting on the particular game that you might be watching. Um, so if this
this type of video or this type of conversation is something that is appealing to you, then let me know because I would like to do more of these and probably pick a different topic each time and, uh, and maybe have a discussion about that. Um, most of it will be game related, but it doesn't always have to be game related. So, um, as I record this, it is getting toward the end of February, and I am very excited because I have pre-ordered uh, the Nintendo Switch, which is coming out on March 3rd. So, I expect to have a lot to say about that system when it comes out. I'm a big Nintendo fan and have uh, grown up with Nintendo consoles, and so I am extremely excited about the Switch. And I will be putting a lot of time into The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, so that will be something that uh, I'm not sure if we're going to do videos on because Nintendo is pretty strict about the hoops that you have to jump through in order to uh, do videos of their games. But we will probably at some point be joining that Nintendo uh, creators program where you can um, put videos up on YouTube of their games. We just haven't done that yet. And we haven't done that for co-op critics either. So when we do that for one, we will probably do it for uh, the other channel as well. So, but regardless, I will definitely be talking about the Nintendo Switch and the games that are coming out for that console because I'm very excited about getting my hands on it. Um, there's also some really good games that are coming out at the end of this month and over the course of uh, March. So um, one of the games I'm excited about is Horizon Zero Dawn for the PlayStation 4, which uh, is made by the developers of Killzone. And that is an open world sort of action role-playing game that I'm pretty excited to uh, spend some time with. So. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to pick that up right at launch because I'm going to be jumping into Zelda right afterwards, but I will definitely be playing that game at some point. Uh, also in March is Mass Effect Andromeda, and I cannot wait to play that game. I am a very big fan of the Mass Effect series, although my favorite Mass Effect game is the first one because it is the most role-playing heavy of the three games and the the series kind of got more it it leaned more into the action shooter elements as it went into the second and third installments of that series but uh I love the whole series. I just really love the first game, so I am hopeful that Andromeda is going to be heavier on the role-playing elements and the story elements, um, and hopefully it strikes a better balance than uh, the last couple games in the series, but I'm excited about that. Uh, I also want to check out uh, Nier. Automata. That is a game that looks very good as well. And there is a new, I can't remember the exact release date, but uh, there was a game that came out in 1999 called uh, Planescape Torment. And it was a role-playing game. And it was based on the Planescape setting of D&D. &D which is sort of a, um, 
takes place in a city that has portals to all of these different worlds. And so, that game was very critically acclaimed and is considered to be one of the better role-playing games of all time. Well, there is a new role-playing game coming out that is sort of a spiritual successor to that game. And it is set in the Numenara setting, which is a setting that was put out by Monty Cook Games. And uh, I'm not too familiar with that setting. I haven't read the campaign setting book or anything like that yet, but I'm very excited because that game is going to be um, sort of taking a lot of the themes of Planescape Torment and putting them in this new setting. So I'm very excited to spend some time with that as well. And, um, I mean, even with just those games that I mentioned, there are too many games and not enough time. So my backlog will continue to grow as it has for quite some time. I'm always behind in the games that I want to play. I still haven't played Gears of War 4, and it's sitting on my shelf. I still haven't played Rise of the Tomb Raider, and it's sitting on my shelf. I still haven't played Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and it's sitting on my shelf. I still haven't finished Bloodborne or Dark Souls 3. And I love those games, uh, but I haven't finished either one of them yet. And so, uh, I'm constantly playing catch-up with those games. And one of the main reasons is because every time I have a few minutes to play, I end up playing Overwatch. Because it's extremely addictive and... It's very easy to pick up and play for short periods of time. And so I often do not have hours at a time that I can dedicate to gaming like I used to be able to. And so I end up going for something that is more of a bite-sized experience than some of the uh, deeper games. And so, it's tough to find the time to catch up on those games that are more involved. But, I'm going to have to figure that out. Because with Zelda coming out, I'm going to need to make time to play that. I'm hoping that because the Switch is a bit more portable, that will actually uh, provide me more opportunities to sort of take it with me into find time to uh, get in a bit of gaming, maybe at times where I wouldn't normally be able to. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, Nick and I have been playing a lot more PC games lately. And even though they're not necessarily on Let's Play Quietly just yet, there are a lot of uh, PC games that I think you're going to see on our channel over the coming months. And so, what I really kind of wanted to do with this first sort of ramble is just to, again, explain a little bit about the channel and where it came from, uh, to say thank you to everyone who has watched our videos and has left very nice comments on our videos and made us just feel like there was an audience out there for what we were trying to do with this channel because it means a lot, um, especially to me, to feel like we are contributing to the ASMR community. So I'm very, very excited about what we have planned for this year, and we are always open to suggestion, both for the game 
items that you would like to see and the ways of putting that content out there that you would like to see, whether it be more rambles like this or more Let's Play videos or um, even the short stories that I've read on the channel before uh, because I'm a big horror fan and so there are some short horror stories that have been uh, put to gameplay on the channel. And I also write horror, so um, I have toyed with the idea of perhaps putting my own stories up uh, over gameplay. So if that's something that people are interested in, I have some short stories that I could do that with. But again, I'd love to hear what you think about that. And, uh, and what kind of videos and what kind of games you'd like to see. So, I think that's probably going to wrap up this first ramble. And hopefully this will be the first of many. And hopefully this mic sounds good and I've done an okay job of not uh, screwing it up while I've uh, tried to record. So, if you like this video, 